Hello, hope you're having a great day. I woke up feeling pretty exhausted today, which was expected because the night before last, I had hardly any sleep before getting up for the car show yesterday morning. And then last night, I did what I shouldn't have done and stayed up until gone midnight, you know, cracked on with some work really late when, yeah, I really should have gone to bed early last night to catch up with the sleep from the night before, but didn't. So um, yeah, this morning was a, a bit of a balance. You know, my lazy mind could have ended up keeping me in bed until, well, afternoon time, <laughs> if I allowed it to, but um, I actually ended up getting out of bed at quarter to nine. So not too, too late, but uh, yeah, still feeling absolutely knackered. And I've been cracking on with my morning routine as usual. Funnily enough, I was so knackered this morning that um, yeah, having my glasses and glasses and glasses of water didn't really wake me up much, and nor did brushing my teeth. Um, and I was still feeling a bit foggy after I got back from my walk around the block. And then, you know, I wrote in my journal, had a meditation session and definitely felt like towards the end, I almost fell asleep or maybe I did fall asleep for a couple of seconds. And um, yeah, it then felt like a, a bit of a battle to sort of stand up and start making this video. And um, my workout is uh, definitely feeling like it's going to be a bit, a bit of a challenge, but you know, if you don't challenge yourself, you don't improve yourself. So it's got to be done. And I understand that, you know, I need to battle with my lazy mind every day. It is an everyday battle and just do what I know I need to do to continue living this clean and healthy life that I have been living for almost a year now. Although I do acknowledge that I've got so much more improvements to make if I'm going to, you know, turn myself into the kind of person that I want to turn myself into. And this is the point, you know, I've been focusing on my health and fitness, actually focusing on my health and fitness for nearly a year and I'm still falling well short of where I want to be. And I think the mistake that a lot of people make, and I've certainly made it in the past, is thinking that this stuff is going to come quickly, is going to come easily, because it isn't. It's a lifelong journey and you've got to be willing to crack on with it for the rest of your life, you know, regardless of how small the increments of improvement, you know, may seem. I'm definitely sort of coming to terms with the fact that I'm going to have to structure my days better in order to give me a better chance to battle my you know laziness in the morning you know i've read loads of stuff about this before it's not something that i've only just learned about you know about not having coffee too late into the evening i love coffee you know about not looking at screens you know too late but before bed i always end up working you know quite late into the night. So yeah, there's already things that I know that I'm doing wrong that aren't gonna help me battle my laziness in the morning. But you know what? At the beginning of this sort of attempt at actually taking my life seriously, it probably wouldn't have mattered, you know, what time I go to bed, when I stop drinking coffee, you know, when I stop working, like to a point, they wouldn't have made a massive difference to my mornings because I am inherently lazy, you know. I could have not had coffee after 1 p.m., I could have turned all my screens off by 6 p.m. and gone to bed at 8 p.m., you know. But ultimately, I'm still going to wake up in the morning and I'm still going to have the laziness that is part of my natural makeup through living a, a degenerate wasteman life for so many years. Um, yeah, I'd still have that laziness um, trying to keep me in bed. But um, as I get deeper and deeper into this self improvement, as I get stronger and stronger mentally and physically, then maybe I'll get to the point where my laziness has got less chance of beating me in the morning if I then structure the rest of my day correctly. And to be honest, it's my laziness that kind of makes me end up working late into the night because, you know, sometimes in the evening, I'll sort of choose to chill out with Kat rather than carry on working. You know, sometimes in the sort of afternoon time, I might choose to sit there and scroll on my phone for half hour um, rather than, you know, continually crack on with work, you know. In an ideal world, you just want to get up, crack on with your morning routine, get your fitness out of the way, you know, have your healthy breakfast and then work, 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 work until you've done enough and then stop um, and chill out and get ready for bed. But that's, um, yeah, not how I've been living at all. But uh, anyway, as usual, I'm turning the camera on just before I need to do my workout and I might be going boxing this evening. I'm not 100% sure whether the boxing gym is open today. It's Tuesday today. It's normally open on Tuesdays, but I don't know if that's different because yesterday was uh, New Year's Day. 
I'm pretty sure it's going to be open. So uh, I'm planning to go boxing this evening. So um, here at home, I think I'm going to bang out an ab session. So I'm going to do some sit-ups, but I'm going to do it on the bench with it declined, holding the light dumbbells at my chest. I can normally only bang out about 10 of those. So I'll do those. Then I'll do the Russian twists, holding the light dumbbells. I think I can normally do 50 of those in total, so 25 each side. And then I'll do, I think I'm going to try and do 40 seconds of leg raises. So I just lay down, lift my legs slightly off the ground, um, lift my head up off the ground as well. Uh, I'll use Alexa to uh, give me a, a countdown and uh, yeah, that'll be my free exercises. Gonna go around twice as usual and then it's time to get in my cold shower, which I'm certain will wake me up. And then it's time for my healthy breakfast with all my supplements as usual. So uh, yeah, let's bang out some abs. And this morning I've been listening to a podcast where David Goggins is on with Dr. Andrew Huberman. I've talked about both of those guys before. David Goggins is... Yeah, probably the hardest man on the planet. He uh, does ultra marathons where you run more than 200 miles. Like, he's nuts. And he's all about causing himself suffering to uh, yeah, just make himself into a stronger person on the extreme level. And Dr. Andrew Huberman is a neuroscientist uh, and a biologist. And yeah, it's awesome sort of hearing Andrew Huberman talking about you know, the neuroscience behind what makes David Goggins tick and what makes David Goggins push himself in the way that he does. So yeah, really interesting podcast from two people that uh, I've watched a lot of stuff on the internet from. So I'm going to carry on listening to the podcast while I bang out this ab session. Need to get this done quick. Time is moving on, but that's all my fault for getting up too late. So after my cold shower and my breakfast earlier, I dived straight into editing the next car video, which is the video that I shot yesterday at the car show. And yeah, got it done in good time. And yeah, it's all edited, uploaded, all the posts have been created. So that will be released this evening. It's now half four. And um, yeah, I've still got plenty of time to crack on with loads of other work today. I definitely wanna dive into the edit of the next car video, which I actually shot a few days ago. Um, and that involves me um, giving an update on my latest project and the videos where I'm actually working on the cars do a lot better in terms of revenue um, than the car show video so you know I do need to try and get that next video out of us working on the car ASAP I want to get that out the day after tomorrow to be honest so yeah just want to keep my head down a lot more today i'm actually now going to dive into editing yesterday's video on this channel and yeah i've just imported the files for that but before i crack on with that i'm going to have some lunch as usual i'm having chicken and cheese and salad sarnies with a little bit of light mayo this bread although it looks white is that 50 50 bread to be honest i way prefer white bread but yeah i sort of get spoiled on it if i have white bread too much then I can't go back to brown bread because um, yeah it's just so much more tasty than brown bread but you know for health reasons I like to stick to brown bread but this stuff is 50 50 so I think it's somewhere in the middle in terms of health but yeah as usual gonna have a protein yogurt because you know I like to keep my protein up gonna have a baby bell because uh, I like them and they're quite high percentage wise in terms of protein and I'm having my third coffee of the day. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is really windy outside. Like I can hear the wind like in our chimney breast. Um, yeah, it sounds like it's ridiculously windy out there. So happy to be spending the day inside today, doing as much work as I can on my MacBook rather than uh, being out in the elements. But definitely need to go out later because uh, I wanna go to that boxing class. Anyway, food then more work. All right, time for me to go to boxing. I'm a little bit pushed for time, 
because I just remembered after I left home that I need to pay my January subs for boxing so just had to go to the cash machine and I'm driving my own car to boxing which means I've got to find a parking space. Sometimes it can be a bit of a nightmare to find parking at the boxing gym so um, yeah I really need to be able to find parking <laughs> uh, pretty easy tonight but uh, yeah I shouldn't be too late really looking forward to boxing I am a bit achy in the shoulders and stuff but that's you know that's an everyday thing for me nowadays and um, yeah as long as I don't get injured that's absolutely fine you know I am pushing myself you know if if you're not getting some aches and pains um, as a 38 year old that's trying to push yourself as hard as you can then you're not pushing yourself as hard as you can so uh, yeah it's all good really looking forward to boxing and yeah really looking forward to uh, going back home afterwards to have a massive dinner and to crack on with some more work and chill out with my girlfriend for a bit but um, yeah really happy with what I've been able to get done today I'm still searching for those little pockets that I could have done better you know that's what it's all about searching for ways in which you can improve but overall yeah today's been an awesome day so now it's time to uh, go and have an awesome boxing session. All right, so just got back from boxing. In fact, I've just parked my car into my garage. And as usual, boxing was awesome. It was with Coach Saud, who does classes that are more, you know, fitness orientated. They're always a killer. You know, at points during Saud's classes, I always have to break through a mental barrier and a physical barrier. You know, I literally start doubting whether these boxing classes are for me. They're that intense. But um, yeah, pushed through it and uh, yeah, feeling great as usual. I have actually sprained my um, ankle or definitely badly twisted it anyway. Um, so I'm going to have to be careful on it for a few days, maybe do some sort of daily um, rotational stretches with it, you know, just to try and, um, you know, make it heal up quicker so that I'm ready for uh, my next boxing class um, or ready to continue with my fitness in general. Uh, I won't be going boxing now until Saturday just to give me the maximum gap between today's session. But um, yeah, basically after we've done like the initial warm up and, and shadow boxing and that, we've done like a circuit where you move to various stations doing a different exercise at each one. And one thing that sounds really simple, but it's an absolute killer, he lay, he puts this thing on the floor, uh, like a step, essentially, and you have to, you know, you know, you start one side of it, both feet one side of it, and then jump uh, to the other side of it, um, and then just keep jumping backs and forwards. And you sort of try and do it on the bounce, so like, you know, like that, like that, like that, like that, and then eventually you get knackered and you just have to sort of go one side, jump once, go the other side, jump once. But um, yeah, it sounds really simple, but it's an absolute killer, and that's when I uh, twisted my ankle. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It hasn't killed me. It's, uh, you know, not as bad as my broken toe that I had recently, and that didn't stop me boxing. So, yeah, I intend to not allow this little injury to hold me back. But, um, yeah, I actually stopped off at Tesco's on the way home and grabbed myself a steak. My beautiful girlfriend, Kat, has already air fried me some chicken. So, yeah, for the second day in a row, I'm having chicken and steak for dinner. Um, it's becoming quite a regular thing at the moment as I try and get plenty of protein in and just continue to get stronger and stronger day by day but also at the moment I'm trying to put on weight uh, you know as much lean weight as possible you know I have been eating mince pies I have been eating some biscuits and stuff which you know inevitably I'm going to put on a bit of extra body fat if I'm eating to put on weight but you know if I keep up with my training and stuff and you know keep going to the gym regularly I'll be putting on muscle as well and then you know later on I can think about it uh, going into a bit of a calorie deficit to you know make those muscles uh, show through but I'd love to try and get somewhere near 100 kilos um, but you know when I'm sort of bouncing around 85 to 90 um, yeah it is like you know putting on 10% of your body weight um, which is you know hard to do like unless you're just eating crap and sitting on your sitting on your backside all day which I'm not but uh, yeah going to get in now going to have a shower going to have my massive dinner and then definitely going to be doing some chilling out with cat but definitely want to do some sort of work as well before I go to bed but try not to sit up until 12 1 a.m. um whilst doing so but yeah love going to boxing man <laughs> 
How many of you out there, just out of interest, have started doing anything really fitness-based since watching these videos, but in particular, something to do with combat? You know, I think it's important for all men to do some sort of exercise that is based around combat. Um, I just believe that us as men, you know, we've got that instinctively in us, you know, we've evolved as a species, um, as, you know, the male of, of the species by, you know, being built to sort of go to battle, um, whether it be with predators, you know, thousands of years ago when we were cavemen or whether it be, you know, battling each other through history, you know, in wars and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, how many of you guys out there do some sort of combat exercise, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Check this feast out. Oh my God. Went for sirloin steak actually. It didn't get ribeye today. Uh, chicken breast, eggs, loads of vegetables. Gonna have a protein yogurt afterwards, obviously. Gonna have mustard with my steak, obviously. But yeah, that is a proper feast. Especially for 25 to 10 at night. Don't be weak. All right, it is now midnight, so I really need to go to bed. I didn't really want to stay up this late, but I've got such a busy day planned tomorrow that I just had to deal with some stuff tonight because, um, yeah, if I deal with it all in the morning, then I'm going to be heading out later than planned. Now, my beautiful girlfriend Kat was supposed to do nights this week, but she's actually swapped with her colleague, which, um, yeah, I'm really happy about. I don't really like it that she does night shifts. And obviously, in the past, when she done night shift was the time that I always went out and just got wrecked on cocaine and whatnot. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm now way strong enough to um, you know resist any urge for using when she's on nights. But yeah, it is really cool that she doesn't have to do a night shift this month. Anyway, I had some merch to pack. Um, so I've done that and Kat will uh, probably be willing to take those bits to the post office tomorrow, which will save me a job. I have just remembered a couple of bits that I didn't wrap up though. So definitely got to do those in the morning. But um, yeah, today has actually been a really, really productive day. I can still, you know, as I always do, I can still see where I could have improved. But you know what? It has been a productive day. I've kept my head in my MacBook, got a video released on the other channel. So yeah, a good day, but you know, not as good as I want my days to be every day. And that's fine. You know, self-improvement isn't about getting to a certain level and then, you know, being complacent. It's about always trying to improve. And um, yeah, I've got a lot of improvements that I need to make. My sprained ankle is actually really bad. <laughs> it wasn't that bad in my boxing class after I'd done it, you know, because you're sort of running on adrenaline and stuff. But um, yeah, now that I'm sort of just at home and resting, every time I do get up, I am actually really badly limping, which is not good. I need to stop getting injured if I'm going to continue to focus on my health and fitness and continually make myself stronger. So I'm grateful that it is just a twist or a sprain. You know, it's definitely not as bad as when I broke my little toe, which still slightly hurts, um, but only after a boxing session and only if I sort of move my little toe like this. Um, so I can see that it is getting better, you know, for a while now, it's only ever hurt in boxing sessions, whereas now it's got to the point where it doesn't hurt in boxing sessions. But when I put my boxing shoes on and then after my boxing session, I sort of do this, I can feel, feel the pain. I mean, I wouldn't even call it pain. It's just, I can feel that it feels different than the other, the other foot. <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really happy that that's healed up. But uh, yeah, now I've got my ankle on the opposite foot, um, which has twisted, but you know what, it is what it is. I definitely remember that I didn't do enough stretching before the boxing class today. So, you know what, it's my fault. And um, yeah, it's always important to take ownership of everything that happens in your life. You know, it's my fault that I twisted my ankle. You know, everything bad that happens to me is my fault. You know, in the past when I've always tried to find reasons why bad things have happened to me, you know, that were beyond my control and, you know, detach myself from any responsibility of anything that's never done me any good so um yeah nowadays i like to take responsibility for everything you know andrew tate says it a lot you know take responsibility for everything even stuff that isn't your fault you know because there's always something you could have done um saying that you could have done differently to um avoid anything that happens to you you know but yeah my ankle will heal up i'm sure i'll be okay you know it's not going to kill me and uh anything that doesn't kill you makes you stronger.
Anyway, that's enough waffling. I really must get to bed. Massive thanks to everyone who's tuned into this video. Hope it's been somewhat helpful or motivational. I'll be back for another video tomorrow following me on my day. In the meantime, feel free to say hello in the comments or get in touch with me through the usual channels. All links to everything will be in the description as usual. But other than that, I'll chat to you tomorrow.